right, so what we're gonna do here, my dad came into town and uh, tried to get in after we removed uh, that portion of the door. I made it a lot easier for him, but he still his legs are still getting caught on the steering wheel even though it's a tilt wheel. Um, so we're gonna have to remove this. Uh, we hit this point once before, uh, back when I was gonna remove the airbags and there was no airbag in here, so I just put it back together. So um, you can go check out that video, but you're gonna remove the bolt holes, one on each side here and then we got to remove the torx headed bolt here in the center um, take off all of our electrical and stuff and then we'll get ready to yank this uh, this steering wheel off so um, we're going to put a removable steering wheel on here that way all of this space is free um, for his legs to get in and out so i'm gonna go ahead and start that process and come back Sweet. Now all we gotta do is take the clock spring off, which I think is just uh, a couple of little torques. <sighs> all right, so now the clock spring is off. I have access to the steering shaft. Um, I'm not really, I don't wanna tear anything else up in here, mainly cause I still want this switch here. Um, that's for the windshield washer fluid. We're gonna turn that into a um, spray bar and if you don't know what a spray bar is um, it's a uh, way of spraying water onto your radiator while you're driving um, to help it cool down just in case you start getting hot um, so but here we are we got the shaft um, all exposed uh, I'm waiting for the nut I'm waiting for the nut that's gonna get welded onto this um, and I, I call it a nut because it's that hex shape, right? Like a nut um, for the quick release steering wheel. But then the steering wheel will be able to go on there. Like Yeso. Of course, we're gonna make sure that it don't get hung up on nothing when we do it. <laughs> so that's good to know, check this out. I can't shove it on there all the way because oh let me grab you flashlight so you can see it hold on let me get a flashlight out the problems with working with the rig half in half out all my lights being blocked by a garage door come on here we go all right that there you go so this is the release for the quick release steering wheel and then there's this little bit of casting on the steering column so when I mount this I'm gonna have to make sure that it's pulled out enough to where when the wheel turns it doesn't touch that These are things to look for uh, when you're building a race car. So, <laughs> when that nut comes in, um, I'll get that shoved on there, get it welded in place. Um, I might actually use these three spots, these three, those three mounting spots, and I might, you know, cut out. A piece of tin and cover it and put those screws back in there um, I don't know just as a I guess a protection deal for the electronics that are in there so we keep as much mud and water out of it as we can not that that's gonna do an amazing job but um, something's better than nothing <laughs> deflect deflect the hose water a little bit when we're washing it off so um, yeah you know what I think I, I 
think I just might do that. I got some spare um, aluminum laying around. Actually, a bunch in a pile outside here. I might take some old take some old body out of this here pile of stuff that I got um, and make something for it. So, yeah, that'll be fun. All right, so I think I'm done for tonight, at least, um, on what I'm gonna do for the bootlegger, but as you saw, I took the steering wheel off and we are half in and half out of the garage, so I gotta pull it out. Um, and I need to replace the steering wheel. I thought this might be a fun time to tell you a story about the new steering wheel that I'm gonna use and my family. Vice grips. That's right, I'm gonna use vice grips. So, <laughs> a while ago, a long time ago, when I was a kid, uh, my uncle was driving a street stock and uh, he was he was doing really, really well. Um, I believe he was winning the race and all of a sudden his car slows down and it gets a little squirrely and he, he drives a couple laps like that, just falls to the back of the pack, right? Um, but luckily something happened and a caution came out and he drove off the track came down into the pits and You know, we're, what's going on drive this thing? It was on rails. You know, he goes Well, if you think you could do better you drive <laughs> and he tossed the steering wheel out the window um, the, the, the nut or the piece that you weld onto the steering shaft had broke and came off with the steering wheel and so he had to grab what was left of the steering shaft with his hands. He, had, he was using both hands. I'm holding the camera with one hand, but he was using both hands and he was manhandling this thing, grabbing hold of that little bitty shaft. I mean, his hands were all cut up and it was, it was pretty bad, but just manhandling it. And, you know, my family quick thinking, oh crap, he needs a wheel. Um, we grabbed a set of ice grips and tossed them to him, clamped them on there. And he went back out there to drive from the back of the pack to win the race with vice grips. <laughs> so um, the tech guy was not very happy, but there was no rule against using vice grips as a steering wheel at the time. <laughs> um, so got away with it, but this is what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna clamp some vice grips on there because the, the piece that I need to weld on there is supposed to be here tomorrow. Um, so I'm just gonna do that to get this thing moved outside for now. All right, so uh, <clears throat> one of the other things I did was if you look up in this area of your Lincoln, you'll find one of these cool switches. It's mounted up in here, mounted up in this area. Um, this is your rollover switch, basically. Um, so what it does, I'll let you get a good look at it here. A little button on the top here. So there's like a little ball inside there. If I flip this upside down and jar it, now you can hear it rolling around. Now you can't. So inside here, there's a little ball um, and there's a little magnet down on the bottom and it kind of sits in this little, little spot here. If your car goes upside down, rolls over gets even just gets into a really big accident um, that ball comes loose like that and it hits this switch and it disconnects power to your fuel pump and kills the car make sure your car doesn't run um, so us being you know a race car especially a contact class um, I wanted to take this out to make sure that if I took a really big shot in the door or something, it didn't just jar it, right? Because, see, I can just hit it really hard. Who knows? I might hit a wall, and that'll be enough to send this thing up on its side or, or whatever. You never know. Um, so I disconnected it, and then um, <clears throat> this is a switch that is normally closed. So you can see right here, all I did was wire it closed to, to itself. So I took the, took the wires... Um, that would normally plug in right here and I wired them together just twisted them together put some electrical tape on it to hold them hold them shut 
um, that way that circuit will actually never get broken so um, <clears throat> you guys that are doing stuff on newer vehicles uh, try to find this wherever the heck it is inside your car uh, and make sure that that's not going to cause an issue for you because um, if you're circle track racing Baja race whatever you know if you're doing off-road stuff um, <clears throat> and the rules don't mention that you have to have it um, functioning you know it's a really good thing to to uh, to bypass so you don't have any random you like oh it won't run it won't run and it turns out it's this stupid switch so um, make sure you do that it, it'll probably save you a lot of headache in the future so all right that's it for this video thanks for watching guys I appreciate it don't forget to go down below and like and subscribe um, still got a lot more projects to work on and hopefully some more racing here in the really near future <laughs> so um, make sure you hit like and subscribe Again, thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time.